Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. But at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah? <laughs> what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm you... told he has a paramour. Put it back. We're just having a bit of fun. That's probably for the best. I've heard he's a bit perverse. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look. Hell, hell no! He's treated Lady Marjorie well. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? We're just talking, we're doing shit! Well? We're sorry, my lady. We were just having fun. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. Welcome back to some Game of Thrones, guys. Exhausting sometimes. Episode 1, Part 3. These were some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once I know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Man, why is she looking at I thought we was friends, man! It doesn't matter what you feel. It only matters what you say. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave. But I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Ask her for help! I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. I prefer to speak with you alone. Go oh, on, bitch! Get on! Get the hell on, bitch! All that stuff you were talking at the table, I don't trust you. I don't give a fuck if she's gonna remember that. Write it down, take a picture. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise, but my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. 
Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene? Is the situation that dire? Joffrey will not look favorably on such a request. I will forever be in your debt. My family will forever be in your debt. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. No, I'm sorry I put, I put her in a little bit of a pickle, but hey. Yeah, we have to ask questions if we call, cool, especially after she made me embarrass myself in front of seriously like that. FDB, bruh. Seven hells. What in the seven hells? Let's play a little game, shall we? Oh, your boy! I hate this motherfucker! My ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat. <gasps> Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that... Bloody noise. <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a day we'll bet! holds few secrets. <laughs> but the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father is the warden of the north. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? My lord? Shh! Listen. There. Shit! Hear that? I know I heard something. Just stay still! Don't move! Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. <laughs> that game of noodle told me not to run. That was a 50-50 chance, though. If I'd have messed up, y'all'd have been waiting. You had your, you had the Twitter figures ready to talk shit, but I made the right choice, though. In your face. That dude over there got cleaned up. That dude Ramsey, that guy, he's bad news, man. You're gonna see that this walkthrough. I hate that dude. Damn, they, they, they had you like that? Bloody hell! Ooh. That was called bloody! God damn! Okay, where are we now? One of my favorite characters is about to show up. Lord Ethan! As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, 
who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! <coughs> Summon the Lord! We need his judgment. Hold on, man. That, that music, I'm sorry, but that music, though. Let me see. Settings. Audio and video. I'll leave it on. It's only on three. Somebody, we're about to lay down the law with somebody. Let's see what he didn't did. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Lord Ethan. Missed. Why did you kick this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet thief. <laughs> Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. You stole from us. I feared for my life. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> <laughs> Mercy. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Calm yourself. The time for calm passed with the late Lord Forrester. Now there's only chaos. <laughs> him as Lord. Yo, man, quit we'll punching well, him like that, man. You must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. He's a thief. You can send him to the war. Leave the man alone. Show him mercy, my lord. He stole from you us. Mercy. Make him pay for what he's done. Give us justice. Ah, uh, I will decide. Send him to the war. Leave the Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord, my fa- Okay. He's not an enemy. Shit is real. I don't want to hear shit about my decision. Alright. We ain't gonna do nothing to this dude. Because he's right. Plus, that guy to keep punching him in his head. That dude's a little, um... Uh, he makes a lot of rash choices. I'm gonna follow the dude that was talking to me on the balcony. Plus, Family my sister's looking on. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He still serves House Forrester and deserves our protection. He's a rat in our grain stores. My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. Anybody got something to say? I'll take your head. That was certainly unpleasant. But a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. I did what I had to do, and it didn't bother me. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. Fuck! 
A sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. But Maester, that is what the small council is for. My lord, you of all people should know that too many voices muddy the message. That is why there is one lord above all. And so there must be one advisor above the rest. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as Sentinel. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Oh my god, you picked the wrong choice. You should have picked the other one, man. I'm tired of this. Hmm, so I'm not just, I'm just going to start talking to some folks. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget, but... I'm honoured. <laughs> yeah. Someday, I'll have a real one, but not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword, I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. It doesn't matter if he's good or bad, you can't steal. That's a rule. Well, I say he was bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Slash and parry. Slash and parry. All right, who else can we talk to? Oh, are we just gonna go inside the tower now? Sword up! Swing left! Sorry! Wrong! I didn't know Sir dogs Oiland. could hold swords! The word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot, ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest-looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Royland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today... I suspect there'll be more to come. Alright. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord... I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. Wait, Uncle. You can't leave. We need you here. Especially now. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here. 
that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course. Until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. I must be firm. I'm not a boy anymore, and there is too much at stake. The Lord's work can harden a man. It's true. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Damn, I see I make decisions. I don't know where to go. I don't know who to choose. I might go with dude though, but he looked mean as shit. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. What do you suggest I do? You must be strong, decisive. You are the lord of this house. Remember, you're just as capable as Asha or Roderick ever were. I know it. I only wish you did too. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. This boy, he probably, but I want to say he's dude's 15 years old. He might, yeah, about 15, maybe, maybe 14. It's, it's rough, bro. They asking for a lot. Hurry, get that sword out. All right, let's talk to that dude, Duncan. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. Actually, I wanted to ask. Why did you send Garrett away? I did it for your own protection, my lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself, I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. I only hope to give you an advantage. That's a clever strategy. I do hope that's a good thing, my lord. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Alright, I'm gonna listen to my uncle, but I almost want to pick that dude, Brother Duncan. Damn it, guys! What do I do? Do I give it to Dunkin' Donuts? Or do I give it to Brother Royland? He was smacking the shit out of it. Let me know in the comment section, who should I choose? This guy or Dunkin' Donuts? But that is going to be it for today. Um, well, I'll be it for, for right now. I'm going to holla at y'all later. Peace, y'all.